What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Savitech Tech once again. Did you see that video from UFD Tech today? He was talking about possibly a new a new GPU from AMD. I need one. I need it really bad. Where's Navi? I need Navi after NPP and all that. We need it now. We need it. Unfortunately, that's not what we're getting, but uh, stick around. Welcome back. So there was a Linux kernel update that's hinting at some new GPU goodies coming from AMD. We're looking at a Vega 12 line. So this is separate, of course, from the current Vega series, unless you take into account their mobile chips. So I think that's something that was getting a little missed here because we're trying to kind of stretch out and, and grab a, a new 580, maybe a, a 680. Or a 780, because those haven't existed before. Whatever they're going to call it, AMD apparently likes to take the naming schemes of their competitors, right? So, here's the problem that I see with this particular uh, leak, let's call it. It's not really a leak. The code's open source and it's out there for everybody to look at. So the problem here is that we've already gotten a hint at what Vega 12 is. The single listed card is actually a Fire Pro card. So we're talking about essentially a workstation professional grade GPU, which would make a lot more sense if we're talking about a kernel update uh, pushing out right now. Because what they're going to want to do with a professional grade card is have support for that in all of the operating systems right off the bat because you're going to have to support that driver for a lot longer than you would have to support a gaming driver. And if we know anything about the previous workstation grade Vega card, what was it called? Frontier Edition? Yeah, that blue and yellow one I did a build on, you can check out up here. Totally not worth doing, by the way. Uh, <laughs> if we know anything about that, we know that they had problems on release day with driver support, and that needs to get resolved. So coming out with them early makes a ton of sense. The other thing that I have beef with on UFD Tech here is that he said that Linux gamers prefer... AMD. I don't find that to be true in recent years ever since about 2014 as the Nvidia support has gone above and beyond what we've seen in the past or previous. Now while that may have been true previously, even on the website where he pulled the article that I'll leave in the description below for you guys, they even talk about the best GPUs for Linux gaming and in particular they talk about the 950 for casual support and then if you're looking at playing the latest Linux Steam games, you're going to want to be looking in the 960 to 980 range, the Maxwell cards. Now of course this article's a little bit older and maybe, you know, I could be off and you guys are running Vegas, you know, hair dryers to play your Linux games on, but just don't think that's happening at this point. Let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite card for Linux gaming in the comments below? My favorite GPUs for OS X gaming uh, is not NVIDIA. Don't, don't put NVIDIA in there. Don't. Web drivers are trash. So if we want to speculate and get really, really, really excited and up in a tizzy, we could start talking about the possibility of Vega 12 actually being an RX 480, RX 580. That's just not proven as far as I've seen in the charts of what that kind of roadmap looked like. But if it is, what could that offer us as gamers? Well, as gamers, hopefully it will offer us an option to buy a GPU for a decent price. No, it won't. No, it won't. Scratch that. Scratch that. Miners are going to buy the shit out of them. Here's the thing, though. The big mistake I think AMD made initially with the Vega GPUs was HBM only or HBM2. This is because there was only a single manufacturer for that, and that was Samsung. And when the memory shortage happened and all of that, it just compounded into a situation where AMD basically released a GPU that nobody could purchase or they couldn't make enough of. You compound that with the mining kind of craze that happened at the same time and it's incredible performance in crypto night and you come out with a card that basically yeah nobody can buy so what they need to do here is make sure that the memory manufacturing is ready to go and that they're able to manufacture enough cards and i think to do that 
What I hope to see is that they move from the HBM back to GDDR5 or the rumored GDDR6 that's coming out or rumored to come out on the new Nvidia cards. Now if they do that and the memory manufacturing is up to up to pace with everything and the decline in crypto that's happened and the GPU market starting to stabilize, we might get a very good well-priced GPU that we can start throwing in our machines and playing video games with and hopefully we'll start getting kind of that 4k experience on PC gaming at a budget cost I think that could be a possibility coming up soon primarily because now with the 4k support on the Xbox one X and its direct X integration of course we're getting a lot of developers that are starting to push for that 4k at lower specs and if that is going to be possible and we get a budget card we could get into the next generation of resolution for gaming and that's what i really want to see because i've played in 4k this is a 4k panel i can link it in the description below if you're interested i have a 4k tv with hdr support up here and both of them are amazing even if I have to slum it up in the console peasant land of the Xbox One X with a vapor chamber liquid cooled or something like that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what 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 GPU you are using for Linux gaming. That's that's the thing I want to know. Uh, a lot of my buddies there doing Linux gaming had switched in, in the 700 series, so the 780s like right where they were at when they were having the best time as far as being able to have compatibility and getting good frame rates in game in Ubuntu and other distros of that sort. I don't personally game on Linux and I tried it on OS X and I didn't like it. I tried it and I didn't like it. I should probably go back and try it on Linux. I did have Steam OS and I didn't like it. So unfortunately that market's cornered by Microsoft at this time. Hopefully it gets better. Everybody's always pushing for that open source platform and I will continue to push for it but I also like to play my games in the best situation possible let me know what you guys think about that too in the comment section below I'll see you next Tuesday